over and out, I'm going to tell you about a time travel tale. Incredible story about Al Buehler, a man who traveled through space and time. According to popular legend, in 1943, U.S. Navy undertook secret experiments based out of the port of Philadelphia. These experiments were designed to put Einstein's unified field theory to practical use by making a Navy ship invisible. All conspiracy theories to be the existence of the Philadelphia theory, Alex Reimer, the scientist of Al Buehler, maintained that it was Navy purpose entirely different. According to Buehler, the purpose was an experiment in Invisible Tom's travel claimed that the Tom two separate periods of future only to return to the present until he was just beginning a fantastic revelation totally completely absolutely 100% not fake time traveler and it make it up and it wouldn't be a sign here's Al Buley any particular charm. He was a peculiar child in his own way. He was born in 1977, otherwise the whole family worked for bare laps as a mother could memory a Christmas party. He was just nine months old. He found out he was able to understand adults talking in a room around growing up and just known a walk encyclopedia himself and his classmates. Good job, Johnny boy. Number two, the Navy can travel through time and space. Hell, you lick lowly Navy officers serving around on the USS Eldridge in 1943, call sign number 382. There's old Einstein's that's number three didn't jump into 2137. In later years, Eldridge became a famous, supposedly harbor of Philadelphia's experiment. One day, August 13th, for 1943, to be exact, Buehler and brothers was the subject of more than odd happening aboard the ship. They jumped to safety and landed at 21. 37 and number four life in the future hospital when Bulick was treated for radiation injuries advanced series of treatments relied on the vibration and light and entertainment in the hospital just solely to educate them in the news programming the only choice of the TV in the entire world was one channel and that was in the I future hospital number five on Earth, he had to undergo a rapid change. Billy on 2137 discovered it shifts in the transforms of the global coastline. Everything had changed. In Florida, except for Panhandle, easily the worst part, the Great Lake, would have won just Great Lake, and Atlanta was just three miles away from the Atlantic Ocean. And in the United States was a relic of the government of a totally thing in the past. Canada, U.S., a real by some kind of local enforcement martial law. Look at that. The buildings get so tall because the world was populated it had been diminished in 2005 the result in this is incorrect in the total population of 300 billion this must be a separate timeline because look how they did now an unconventional jump were forward building 2749 state and the technology to build more floating city and non-existent everything was run by AI called a synthetic intelligence computer that worked telepathically after the telepathic computer took over, Bielik stated that in 2749, according to him, there was practically impossible and no military or soldiers ever any forces between continue to relive it. Everything with a socialist value. And then the future started saying, here's Von Neumann and this is my true isolator Moog with Moog 55 system. Then learning the real truth, I can broadcast it through my antenna and synchronize it to the California train, which would be in Montauk for time travel if he wants to go to Mars he should use my monk modular to oscillator voice where Al Bulick said thank you for this harm the government and you should be here today with the men in black with your time travel experiments oh one quick thing it was just that Al Bulick in 1943 sounds an awful lot like a Philadelphia experiment ever some crazy people don't believe Al Bulick's story but the Philadelphia experiment was real <laughs> Father philosophy is experimental reading. Al Bulick passed away in 2111. R.I.P. to the end of the world. But I can't let go. It's so natural. You belong to you.